Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Roar. Today is Monday, the 16th of September. Today, I want to talk a little about goals, and most specifically about the measurable and tracking goals. I know many people have, have goals, both for work and for their own personal life. I have goals that I try to, that I'm working on all the time for both my personal life and my work. And I found that one of the easiest ways to be successful in achieving your goals is to make sure you're, you're measuring, and by that I mean keeping track, tracking your, your progress all the time. One of the, a great example of that is, is about just almost four years ago, I decided I wanted to um, lose some weight. Or maybe it was three. Anyway, four years ago, I decided I wanted to lose some weight. And I set myself a goal of how much I wanted to lose. And then I started doing what I needed to do to, to lose that weight. I, I changed my eating habits and I started exercising more. And I wanted to keep track of where I was at all the time. So I started up a spreadsheet in Excel so I could keep track of the number of steps I took every day and also how much I weighed every day. And I thought, well, this is going to be good because I can track every day. I can see, you know, where I'm at. Now, myself, just like a lot of people, you think, well, some days you say, well, gee, I don't, I'm afraid to weigh myself. I know I ate a lot of food yesterday, so I don't want to weigh myself. But I, I told myself, yeah, that's how I feel, but maybe that's not how I should feel. And maybe I should make sure I mark down the, the weight every day, weigh myself, mark it down every day so I know where I'm at good or bad. In fact, if it's bad, then that's really, that's really shows me what I need to, where I need to work on it. So I did, I started doing that. I started writing down my weight every day. Also, I have a, a Fitbit and I've had other, I used to track through my cell phone, but my, my steps, but I've had different ways to do that. So I write down the number of steps I took in the day and I set my goals of how many, what I needed to do to, to lose weight. I didn't know automatically, you know, I didn't know automatically it was going to be 10,000 steps or or anything, but I, I wanted to see where I was at and, and what I could, what was making a difference and how I could, how I could set that. So measuring goals, measuring your, your progress in those goals is, is probably one of the most important parts to, to achieving your goals, recording it, measuring it, whether it's to do with work, how many telephone calls you make to prospective clients, how many, um, how many deals you, you settle, how many um, doors you knock on, how many people respond, what you can do. Because you never know how, I mean, that's how you set your plans is knowing what you're, what you're doing, how you're doing it. And, and you know, there's going to be days, you have to realize there's going to be some days when you're not going to be happy with your results. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't look at them. That doesn't mean you shouldn't record them. You just got, that means that you, you're learning what you need to do to avoid those days that you're not happy with your results of your daily results that you're putting in. So the big thing today, and we're talking about is, is keeping track, keep your metrics, your own personal goals, step by step, seven days a week, every day, keep track of where you're at, and then you can achieve things. And, and I can tell you it works. It, it worked for me. You know, I've lost quite a bit of weight. I've kept myself a lot healthier than I was before. And I'm excited that uh, I feel this good and I'm able to share it with you all. So have a wonderful week and look forward to talking to you next week.